Hello, my name is Ellie Howes and I'm a registered nurse and learning facilitator at St Margaret's Hospice. This short video aims to teach people who would not normally give injections the skill to be able to at home. So what is a subcutaneous injection? A subcutaneous injection is also known as subcut is delivered into the fatty tissues just beneath the skin. Commonly used medications to address usual symptoms towards the end of life are provided in the just-in-case box, which you should have at home. So why might we be giving these injections? So we might be giving these injections to help manage pain and other symptoms such as nausea and vomiting, breathlessness, respiratory secretions and agitation. Also, when someone is unable to swallow their medication, when you may need medicine to work quickly or when a healthcare professional is not available. It is also very important to remember it is completely legal for carers to give injections. This slide shows the common medications for subcutaneous injections. Dosages of these medications will be prescribed on an individual patient basis. Do not give if you are unsure of the dosage and contact either your district nurse or call the advice line for help. Getting someone ready for injection is really important as we need to make sure that they are comfortable and to help them relax, ensuring privacy and dignity throughout. Position the patient so as to make the injection site visible and explain the reason for the injection. Tell them what you are doing throughout. It is also important to get yourself ready. Be clear about why you have decided to give this injection. And if you're not sure about giving the injection, stop and get advice from the district nurse or call the advice line. Remind yourself of the procedure. Run through it again if you need to. Gather together all the equipment needed and gather yourself. You might be feeling anxious. Take a moment to compose yourself and don't worry. Essential equipment will be as follows, and this is usually left by the district nurse in the home. You will need a pair of gloves, a pink blunt needle for drawing up the medication, a syringe, a needle to give the medication, a sharps box or container, sterile gauze, soap and water or an alcohol wipe provided and most importantly, the palliative care drug chart. The palliative care drug chart will have a list of the just-in-case medications on the front. On the inside of the chart will be the list of prescribed drugs, and these will be individual to the patient. You will also have a stock card for each individual drug, which will need to be filled out by yourselves. You may also have a symptom observation chart and you will have instructions on how to fill this out from the district nurses. Drawing up medications. The district nurse or community nurse specialist will instruct you on how much volume you will need to draw up for each drug prescribed. Do not start this process if it is still unclear. You will be required to fill out the stop cards of each individual drug given. For example, for this video, the prescription says you can give 5 mg of morphine sulfate for injection and the ampule has 10 mg in 1 ml, so you will be required to draw up half a ml. Wash your hands with soap and water and dry well. Assemble all your equipment in a clean container along with the prescription chart and place on a clean and clear surface. To recap, you must have the drug ampule, a pair of gloves, a syringe, a pink blunt filter needle, 
a giving needle to give the injection with, an alcohol wipe if available, otherwise soap and water, a sterile gauze and a sharps box. Open up both syringe and blunt needle packaging. Attach blunt needle to the syringe. Loosening the needle sheath and place on clean work surface. Then hold the ampule upright with the pointed end at the top. Check all fluid is removed from the neck of the ampule. If not, gently flick the top of the ampule until the fluid runs back into it. If there is a dot on the ampule, this shows where the weak point in the neck is and where the ampule should break. Hold the ampule in one hand and with your thumb on the other hand, push the neck of the ampule away from you to snap the top off and put in the sharps box. Hold the ampule in your non-dominant hand upside down at a slight angle or in a position that is comfortable for you, such as on a table. The medication should not come out of the ampule if you tip it upside down. Remove the needle sheath of the syringe and put in the sharps box. Insert the needle slightly into the ampule. Draw the medication into the syringe by slowly pulling back on the plunger of the syringe. Once fluid is in the syringe, Take the needle out of the ampule and place ampule down. Point the needle to the ceiling, flicking the syringe with your index finger to get all air bubbles in the syringe to move to the top. Slowly push the plunger of the syringe upwards until you have the correct dose as instructed on the prescription chart. Remove blunt needle by unscrewing the pink part below the needle and put in sharps box and attach giving needle to syringe making sure you push it on until it clicks. You can inject into the buttock, abdomen, upper arm or thigh. Look for an area of fatty tissue and avoid areas of infection, wounds, scars, birthmarks and where the bone sticks out. Clean your chosen site with soap and water or an alcohol wipe if provided. Pictured here are the most common sites for a subcutaneous injection. Okay. Giving the injection. Assist person into required position to allow access to the appropriate injection site, being mindful of privacy and dignity at all times. Assess the injection site for signs of infection, skin lesions, scars, edema and inflammation. Clean area of injection site with alcohol wipes if available or soap and water. Now wash and dry your hands and apply non-sterile gloves if available. Explain to the person you are giving the injection to what you are doing at all times to give them reassurance. I'm just going to give you an injection. It's going to be in your arm. Are you okay? Remove the needle sheath and push the safety cover down.
Gently pinch the skin up into a fold. Hold the syringe between the thumb and forefinger of your dominant hand. Now insert the needle into the skin at an angle of 45 degrees and release the graft skin. Inject the drug slowly over 10 to 30 seconds. Withdraw the needle rapidly, pushing the safety cover over the needle with thumb and place in the sharps box. Apply gentle pressure with the sterile gauze. Do not massage the area. Do dispose of sharps immediately after use in the sharps container provided. If possible, dispose of the needle and syringe together. Never reuse or recover needles and don't overfill your sharps boxes. Please wear gloves if possible at all times. Importantly, after you have given the injection, you need to complete the drug chart with the date, time and dose given. Choosing a different injection site each time can stop irritation. Also, report to your district nurses or the advice line any areas of bruising, persistent bleeding or swelling at the injection site. Any questions or concerns about what you are doing, please ask your district nurse or call the advice line.